Welcome back to another speed paint. Uh, every week it's getting easier. I'm still enjoying it. So this week we'll be talking about a creature called the Washboon Misha. They are amphibious theropod type creatures. Their skin is smooth and slimy, covered in a thin coat of mucus. Not only does the mucus prevent the skin from drying out and becoming brittle, it helps oxygen enter the body and into their bloodstream. Like all amphibious creatures, the Misha's skin contains poison glands. Their skin is so thin, this poisonous mechanism is designed to be a deterrent or some sort of punishment to potential predators. Washboon Mishas live in a brand new biome I created specifically for their species and likenesses called the Fruity Marsh. The climate is chilly year-round, never reaching below freezing. It's usually always foggy with a haze of mist in the air. The plants are unusual shades of pastel colors. Where the trees in the stagnant forest biomes are red with thorns, the trees here are blue with vines. The fruity marsh is a wetland, of course, but it doesn't have much to do with fruit. In fact, it's actually spelled F-R-O-O-T-Y. The name comes from the type of seeds the plants grow from, root fruits. Root fruits, which is just an overarching name for many plants of that kind, can be found everywhere in this fictitious world I made up. Many creatures eat root fruit, they are full of nutrients and remedies, but they will never grow beyond the surface unless it's the right climate like the fruity marsh. If they did grow to their full potential, they would most likely be an invasive species, choking and preventing other plants from growing and prospering so it's a very good thing that they are contained. Now, after that tangent, let's get back to the design. Washboon Mishas can be found in groups of about five to six members. They very much enjoy floating on top of the water like how ducks and geese do. This is where they do most of their ambush hunting. They have three liquid sacs around their neck, two on top, one on the bottom. The fluid found in these sacs is just water. The Misha stores water, for when it locates a target in a tree above them, it will expel the liquid in a sharp jet stream, stunning its victim in a paralyzing shock, where the critter will then fall into the water, becoming the Misha's next meal. If that doesn't work, or if the Misha is on land, the tip of its tail is designed like a whip. So if you're not struck down by the stream of water, you will be by its tail. Moving on, the bright colored circular plates along its body head and upper legs are hard scales. These scales mimic the Misha's mood, communicating to other Mishas in its pack. The colors radiate from red, meaning fear, to white, meaning aggression. The neutral color is yellow, sometimes blue. Lastly, the Washboon Misha species is part of a hierarchy. They are considered the lesser kind to their bigger and badder cousin, the Washbak Maikuga. So, Stay tuned for next week when I dive headfirst into that design. Until then, thank you for watching.